This is puzzle number 80 from Sudoku to Go, volume 120 by Soap Opera Digest. If you like this video or other videos on this channel, please click the like button. And if you would like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. And after you click the subscribe button, you'll notice a bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified when a new video comes out, click the bell icon and you'll be notified. In the last few videos, I've um, done a couple of them that have different patterns. In this one, we're going to talk about the corner pattern. Now, there's a new section in sudokuprimer.com uh, that, that talks about patterns. So just click on the pattern link on the left to the left on the in the on the website and uh, and then you'll see the different patterns that you can learn about out there the corner pattern will also be um, on sudokuprimer.com in the pattern section and that's what we're going to talk about today is the corner pattern the corner pattern is when you see four numbers in a group like this you've got a corner pattern here and a corner pattern here. It's called a corner because we've got empty cells in a, in a corner fashion here, empty cells here. Now all of these cells don't have to be um, empty in order to have a corner pattern, but you have to have all four of these cells populated. Now what you can do with the corner pattern is when you find one, you can look at the column that's empty in this box. Look for numbers outside of the box that aren't already in here. Now there's a 4 here already, so we can't use that 4. And here, and then you can also look in this row. And in this case, we've got a 4, 6, and 7 already in here. So we can't do much with this, but if you did find a number here that's not in the box, it would be one of these two cells. If you find one or two numbers along here, it'll be one or t one cell here or both of these cells. Okay. Here we've got a five in this column and we don't have a five here so we know one of these is a five. And here we've got a three, four, and six in this row. We've already got a six here but we don't have a three or a four so therefore we know that these are three four twins so there you can see the five here so one of these is a five and the three and a four in this row so you know these are three four twins that's how you can use the corner pattern now we can't solve the three four twins we have here but because of the three four twins we know what these three numbers are and they are one two three four 5, 6, 7, 9, 2, 5, and 7. We've got a 2 and 7 there, so we know that's a 5. And so now we have 2, 7 twins here and 3, 4 twins here. We can't solve any of those yet, but um, we'll remember those. And that's how you use a corner pattern. Let's, I'm going to fill in um, a few numbers now uh, just to get going and then we'll talk more about um, other pattern, you know, other, other techniques that we can use to solve this puzzle. This 4 goes here because there's a 4 here already and a 4 here already, so we know that's a 4. There's 3 and 8 missing here in this column and we can't solve them right now. But with this 4, we can fill in this 4. And we have a 7 here. Now I'm going kind of fast on these, but... And we've got a 7 here. If you don't know why I placed a certain number, please leave a comment and I'll, I'll try and answer your question. And we've got a... 6 here so 
6 here, and a 6 here. Six here, okay, now we have a two right here. Now how did I get that two? We have a two here and a two here, so any of these three can be a two. But I know this is a 2, and the reason I know that is because, we, remember, we have two 7 twins here. And we've got a 7 and a 7 here and a 7 here, so we know these. one of these is a 7. And there's a, a rule called the ambiguity rule that says if these are two 7 twins and we've got a 7 here, we want, neither of these can be a 2, so we know that's a 2. Now, if you're not familiar with the ambiguity rule, go to sudokuprimer.com under the techniques section and look up ambiguity rule and it'll, it'll talk about it. It's a very powerful concept that, that helps you find numbers. Okay, with that 2 there, we can put a 2 here. And because of this 2 here, we now know that we can solve these two sevens there. We can also put the 7 in here because we know where that goes now. Okay. We still have these 3, 4 twins right here. Let's see. Well, we've got a loner cell right here. Okay, with this loner cell. Um, what we can do is we can look at this row right here outside of this box and what numbers do we have? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. We already have one, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6 in there. So the only number in this row outside of this box that's missing or the only empty cell is this one right here. And since all these are already here, we know that this number has to be the same as this number. Uh, that's what we call identical twins. Now, if you're not familiar with that concept, go to sudokuprimer.com and under techniques and look up loner cells and identical twins. Read the loner cell section first and then read the identical twins section. Now, in order to Let's see if we can find out what that number is. And if we find one of these, we know, we know the other one because they're the same number. Let's see what, we, what this cell can see. You can see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is an 8 or a 9. So we know this has to be an 8 or a 9. And there's an 8 there, so we know it's a 9. And since we know that, we know that's an identical twin, so it has to be the same number. Now, here we have an eight, and in reality, we we only had an we had an eight and a nine here, eight nine twins. We could have solved that nine because of this eight right here, because we knew that was an eight or a nine. But um, if if these three numbers were missing, or any of those three numbers were missing, we could still, we could have still solved this nine right here because of these identical twins. That's another very powerful concept that can help you quite a bit. All right, now let's look at, um, let's see, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one and eight. Got one and eight here, and we can't solve either of those yet. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, five, and nine. So we know that's a five. We can't solve the three or the nine yet. Let's look at this column right here. We've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, five, and nine missing here also. This is a nine, because we've got a three and five already in that row. So we know that's a three or a five, and that's a three or a five. There's a five there, so we know that's a three, that's a five, and that's a nine. All right, what are we missing here? We're missing three, two, three, eight. Okay, we're missing three and eight. There's an eight there, so we can fill those in. Uh, now we've got only two numbers missing here. Four, five, four and five. So we can solve them. Very straightforward. And um, we're missing a, a three right there. It's the only number left in that column. All right, let's let's look at this column right here. We know we've got a one or an eight here. Let's see what we're missing. One, two, five. 8, 9. 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. That's a 1 or an 8. This is a 1, 5, 1 or a 5. This is a 1, 2, 5, 8 or 9. So 1, 5, 2, 5, 8, 9. 1, 8. What's this one? 1, 2, Eight nine one two eight, and what's this one here? One five eight nine five. Oh, okay. So we got a one five here, one eight here, and a one five eight here. So we have triplets there. One five eight, one eight, one five. So that's a two or a nine. And that's a two or a nine. There's a nine there, so we know that's a two, and that's a nine. Okay. And now that we have that two there, we can solve this two right there. And then we've got a a two here, pretty straightforward. Five right there, straightforward. And that means there's a five right there. All right, now notice we have another corner pattern right here in this box these four numbers right here. And in this case we already have <clears throat> two numbers filled in, but it's still a corner pattern. What do we have here? A two, six, those are already in there. <clears throat> eight, nine, there's a nine already there. So that eight isn't there. So we know these are, one of these is an eight. We have one eight right here, so we know that's a one because of these ghost, these ghost eights here. And that's an eight. <clears throat> okay. Now there's only one number left in this column here, and that's a one. Okay, and <clears throat> let's see. We know that's a one right there. Okay, 
Okay, let's look at these. What numbers are those? One, one, eight, nine. Well, we've got a nine and a nine here, so that's a nine. And then that's an eight, and that's a one. that we can fill in this let's see this 8 right here and this is a 3 right here With this three, we can fill in this three. Okay. okay, now we only got two numbers left here. Five, eight. Okay, so that's an eight, and that's a five. And now it's getting pretty easy to find numbers. We're almost done. Okay, we can finally solve the three four twins that we found early on in the very beginning of the puzzle because of this four right here. Up until now, we couldn't solve those three fours. Then we've got a let's see, three and eight there. And it looks like we've only got one number left, and that's a one. Okay. All right, we started out with uh, two corner patterns, one here, one here. We found another corner pattern up here that we could use. And then, um, if you remember, we had the two seven twins here. We talked about the ambiguity rule there. And then we talked about the identical twins right here those nines. Uh, the ambiguity rule and the identical twins are very powerful concepts. So if you're not familiar with those, go to sudokuprimer.com and look under techniques and uh, you can learn more about those. And also go to um, sudokuprimer.com and look at the new pattern section. You'll see the corner pattern out there and a couple, um, some other uh, patterns that you can read up on. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.